My name is Kathleen Laval, and I'm a master trainer of NLP and design human engineering. I'm here today as one of the trainers on the licensed practitioner of NLP here at the IBIS in London for NLP Life Training. We have a wonderful group of people with us today, and it's very exciting. I have been training NLP for probably now 25 years or more. I, I lose track because it's all been such a wonderful ride. I've probably been studying NLP a lot longer than that, but at least 20, 25 years I've been training. I love especially the practitioner trainings. Because with a practitioner training, you have people that are walking in with wonder and curiosity, and they have no idea. And I look at some of their faces, and I can see a little bit of tension or stress or um, just nervousness. And I get excited immediately, because I know what they're going to look like on the last day. I know about the, the different kind of wonder they'll have about how much more fun they can have and how much more success. So I, I love the practitioner program. It's new every time because it's a new, brand new group of people each time. Oh, it's, it's so much different. I mean, you'll, you'll find places out there that'll try and sell online courses and, um, you know, sell, just read some books. And, and that's all a wonderful thing to do. I mean, study as many different ways as you can. But when you're in the seminar with other people and you get to interact and practice and do the exercises along with the other trainers that are here to help you and the other assistants that are here so that you have the immediate feedback. And when the trainers begin to um, work with these groups, there's just so much more of ideas that people have on how to do these new skills. And the students themselves begin to build a support system. Because when you hear somebody else do the exercise, you get an idea about when it's your turn, you can add that to what you were already going to do. So they begin to give each other ideas and strategies and share so that it becomes even a more powerful exercise because they've helped each other. And there's amazing things of networking going on. Friendships are made. Business deals are made sometimes in the seminar room because there's so many different people from so many walks of life. Um, people make friends from different countries and it's like I never knew anybody from Belgium before or Indonesia or wherever they're from. And that does my heart good. I mean, I know I'm getting a little long-winded on this answer, but what really makes me passionate about this is when you see a room full of people from so many different religions, so many different countries and cultures, and they're all helping each other. They're all getting along. They're all laughing and having a wonderful time learning new skills. And that just gives me hope. Well, I got to tell you that in certain people ask me all the time, you know, should my husband and I go into business together? And some couples, yes. Other couples, they do better when they have separate business lives. Uh, with John and I, though, we, we work very well together. Um, we have a good time when we're working, and we have a good time when we're not working, and it works for us to be together. Um, the reason I got involved in NLP was because of John. Um, he actually was a, a trainer within a company and had gone to an NLP course, fell in love with it, went to do his practitioner, and at that time it was done on weekends over time. And when he would come home each weekend, he would tell me about the seminar, and he would try things out, some of the language, and I'd be like, uh-oh, I better go learn this for survival as well. <laughs> and it became something fun. I was looking forward to it. So when he went on to take his master prac, I went along and did the practitioner. So it was, you know, we were always together in it from the beginning, and uh, it really makes it a lot of fun to be able to share this with him now. Well, I met Richard um, when John was doing his practitioner program. 
there was a party towards the end of the course, and uh, I went along as my husband's guest. I hadn't taken the course yet. And we walked into this party, and there was a lot of people walking around, and they had tables set up, and um, there were people dancing in the middle of the dance floor. And I remember walking into the room, and my eyes were immediately drawn towards this fellow who was out in the dance floor dancing. Remember, he had a fedora on. And, um, and I just said to John, I go, wow, who is that? Because he just lit up the room. There was something which I didn't know all the mechanics of it back then. I just said, there's something about him, the way his energy is and his state. And, and, and he's just, I, wow, who is this person? John said, oh, well, that, that's Richard Bandler. And I went, OK, now I'm really committed to learning this because I want to know how to do that. I want to know how to shine like that. So um, we started taking courses. And over the years, I've trained with lots of different trainers, but I always found myself back in any course that Richard was in. And we exclusively then started training with Richard. And eventually, we were assisting at Richard's seminars. Um, and then we began doing our own. And now we're back training with Richard again, which um, is a very uh, honor and a special treat because every time uh, whether I'm training in it or watching it, I learn something. Each and every time I see these courses over and over again, I still put a new connection together. It's, it's amazing. This is the type of seminar that changes lives. And uh, I don't want to sound like a zealot, you know, going on and on about um, change your life. But, you know, if you ever found yourself thinking there's more to it than this, this is the place to be. Um, if you found that, you know, why do some people have the ability to get over situations and move on with their lives? And then you say, sometimes it's hard to get over something or how to put something aside. Or maybe there's just you know, some fears that you've had that have stopped you from doing the things you'd love to do. You know, this isn't about um, psychology or, you know, an emotional strategies. This is about learning how your brain works. If you've always wondered why you never got an owner's manual, like when you buy your car, you get one, you know, why did nobody handed me the owner's manual for my brain? Uh, this is it. This is about learning how to run your brain instead of your, letting your brain run you so that you can have better control. And it doesn't matter whether you're a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer or a business person or a housewife, a parent especially. You know, we all need more tools. Technology is booming out in the world and sometimes life is so fast paced. We need the best skills possible so that we can also enjoy the moments that we have to enjoy even better. And, and I think that's what NLP does.